Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Aerobo Automation YouTube channel. Uh, this video is regarding uh, week 2 concepts that is uh, PLC programming. We are using Bosch Extroth PLC. Uh, this event is organized by VTU, uh, Bosch Extroth and Aerobo Automation. Uh, let us discuss on uh, how to create a project uh, using Indra Logic software directly, not Indra Works. Uh, let us have the discussion. Indra logic, see Indra works engineering it is used because uh, that software where you can use PLC, HMI, VFD uh, drives we can use it. So that is Indra works engineering. But if you are using only PLC then directly you can go to the Indra logic instead of using Indra works engineering. So Indra logic uh, icon would not be available directly. So that is available uh, see if you install the software where, where you install you go there go to program files there is a rexroth folder so there indra works go to indra works and go to indra logic folder will be there so there indra logic application will be there ok so what i done is right click on the indra logic application there is a create shortcut so create short click on create shortcut so shortcut is created and this sh uh, this the shortcut I have copied and pasted it in the desktop ok so paste it so that this uh, Indra logic shortcut is available ok so double click on the Indra logic shortcut see now uh, it is in Dutch language so we have to first of all you have to change the language so go to third one that is project it looks like project right so project uh, option is there this you have to select option here and then fourth option there language you have to select English then click on OK now go to file new So there in the drop down menu you have to select L2003 version, L2003 version you have to select and then click on OK and ladder programming you are using PLC underscore PRG don't change its name that is a main programming object uh, that will going to detect by the hardware so click on OK. So this is what directly we are directly going to the programming window okay so <coughs> this is how this is how you can create a project in Indra logic directly okay before starting the program first of all we have to add uh, inline modules just like Indra works right <coughs> so we have explained how to create a project in Indra logic we have explained how to create a Indra logic shortcut uh, desktop icon and then how to create a project next is an adding inline modules so inline modules you have to add otherwise you will get error so go to the resources tab that means in the bottom left corner there are four tabs are there you are in POU project organization unit and then data types is there then visualization is there then <coughs> resources is there you have to go to the resources so there PLC go to the PLC configuration click on the plus mark in the logic so there inline so you can see that inline is uh, empty if inline is empty but hardware hardware has got real uh, extension okay then there definitely there is error that is called ri error so to avoid that right click on the inline append sub element so there di16 you take it and then again right click di sorry do16 you have to take it and then ai2 next AO2 AO2 slash U slash BP you have to take it uh, don't change the sequence same sequence hardware is installed means uh, uh, installed so if you change the sequence in the software you will get error ok now we have successfully added the inline modules see the topics we have added the inline modules so we go back to the POU 
tab that is bottom left go to double click on the POU tab then double click on the PLC underscore PRG that is a program file will come to here ok <coughs> then go to the next topic that is adding standard library so let us check wh whether it is missing uh, see this is a normally open contact I'm zooming it just using a mouse a roller button you can just control and roll it then zoom in and zoom out you can do it ok now this is normally open <coughs> and this is normally close and this is our coil ok but if you go to the fun uh, function block it is showing empty ok timer counter is missing so that is a standard block standard uh, library so to add that again go to resources there is a library manager is here so there is a short small area is here so here you, can, you have to right click right click addition library so here any version you can take it 0 3 means uh, form uh, firmware version is 3 but there is sub version is there but uh, ok double click on any folder then you have to look for here standard library standard library is here then click on that now standard library is added so now go back to the POU window or uh, POU uh, tab then click on double click on the PLC underscore PRG so here if you check on the uh, function block see now counter timer triggers are available here ok this is how we can add the missing standard standard library standard library <coughs> that is also done now addressing input and output so this is important see here digital inputs addressing uh, see by default uh, that means uh, L L20 PLC has got by default 8 digital input and 8 digital output how to do addressing is yes, addressing syntax is percentage i x 0, 0.0 i means input ok for output it will be q so what is this 0, 0.0 means first 0 means it is a byte number so 1 byte will have to 8 bits and second number is bit number so it start from 0 so second input address is percentage i x 0, 0.1 so like that 8th input it will have address percentage i x this is having some miss ok this is 0, 0.6 and this is 0, 0.7 so like that output is also 8 outputs or 20, 24 inputs like the outputs also there so this is how you can uh, do the address if one byte is over you can go to second byte second byte can start from 1.0 so 1.0 to 1.7 so qx 0.0 that is the syntax for output and memory bits are, uh, syntax is percentage mx 0.0, .0. memory is nothing but internal relay generally it is used in the uh, internal variables it is used in HMI and SCADA programming ok so with this we will go back to the programming and uh, we will take a simple uh, exercise here one input one output say here percentage ix 0, 0.0 next is percentage qx 0, 0.0 but when input and outputs are more it's very difficult to read what is what is what do you mean by x 0, 0.0 and all right so it's not convenient to use like this so you can type say for example i'm using start push button or start button i'm connecting start push button say to the first input so first input address is percentage ix 0, 0.0 <coughs> then i'm I ha i've got one led so led i'm wiring up to first output so first digital output that is percentage qx 0, 0.0 this is how you can uh, address the input and output if you want to change uh, the address say for example I want to rewire to input number 2 so in that case select the variable shift F2 the shortcut key where you can edit zero, instead of 0, 0.0 you can go for 0, 0.1 it is see you can see 0 0.1 ok uh, that is a shortcut key you have to remember uh, 
see shift F2 it to edit the variable address and control F7 shortcut key also useful that is in simulation mode ok so when, con when comes to topics we have completed addressing IOS next is program simulation assume that uh, this is a program <coughs> before downloading the program you can also check for errors that is go to project rebuild or build all if you click on build it will check for errors so here no errors are there and now assume that you don't have a PLC hardware still you can check the program in simulation mode so how it is done means go to online go to online there is a simulation mode you have to enable it or select it and now go to online again login here login means download you are downloading the program to the PLC hardware but if we don't have PLC hardware we, uh, but it will download the program to the simulator okay go to login now download it but you cannot check the output because it is not in run mode okay many students uh, make the same mistake they have logged in but mm, uh, run mode it is not in run mode so even if you switch on the switch so for example double click control F7 you are not getting the output because you are not in run mode so go to online make sure that you are in run mode then you will get output so double click on the variable control F7 you have to press so that to change the value true false or false true or 0 1 or on or off you can control see so double click on the variable control F7 so that start button is now true so the output is true double click control F7 ok so we completed the simulation also shortcut key I have already discussed see this is a shortcut key control F7 remember and this is how you can simulate program directly using Indra logic so in the laboratory sessions like uh, in the classrooms we are directly using Indra logic Indra works also you can use it if you have uh, any issues then directly you can use Indra logic ok these are the topics uh, if any questions they put it in the comment section or in the classroom we will have a discussion thank you also subscribe to my channel thank you everyone